Well, welcome to everybody. We are here today. <laughs> yeah. And Justin knows why we're here. We're just we're here to celebrate, aren't we, Justin? Yeah. We're here for you. All right. The, the best day of the week for me is Thursday. This is the, the day we celebrate adoptions. And this is, you know, the end of, of a part of your journey and certainly the beginning of a lot more years of your journey. But uh, you both have uh, worked very hard, uh, along with Matthew as a big brother, to, to get here uh, to this point today. When I first went to the home, um, they have a beautiful home. However, inside that home is a beautiful family. And I'm glad that they have chosen to be the forever family of Justin. Ed and Carmela were at the hospital when Justin was born, and Ed was the first one to hold him. That's why he's a daddy's boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the process has been, has went smoothly ever since. But the most important person that I really have to give a lot to is Matthew. Before Justin came in, he wanted a brother. When Justin came, he immediately accepted him as his brother. And he has thanked everyone for bringing Justin into his life. So, I know you have waited long enough. And I know Matthew has been waiting for a very long time for a little brother, so let's make this official. So without further delay, it is my honor and privilege to grant the petition filed by Edward, Anthony, and Carmela Rose Delelio for the adoption of Justin Armand Delelio. Congratulations, you are his parents. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have a PhD or uh, you know make a, a ton of money. Just as long as you basically are, you know, caring, loving people who want to make a difference in that child's life. I think just being there when he's got a poopy diaper, being there when he bumps his head, being there when uh, he just, it's just that being there. I think that's just, that's, you know, I think we make it so complicated. Just, just being there for your children, you know, it's such a simple thing, I guess. We still have over 400 children in permanent custody, wonderful kids who need a forever adoptive home. Please consider being a foster or adoptive family.